channel. My name is Dragon. Dragon, wish you a happy new a nice day. And here the official news. One, Angelina Jolie and three of her kids make rare red carpet appearance at New York Film Festival. Angelina Jolie attended the New York Film Festival premiere of her film, Maria, directed by Pablo Lorraine. With three of her six children, Pax, Zahara, and Maddox Jolie Pitt. During the event, she expressed gratitude for the support she received while preparing for her role highlighting the patience of her teachers and the brilliance of her director. The family showed a united front on the red carpet, with Pax looking particularly dapper. 2. Naomi Campbell banned as charity trustee for five years after spending funds on hotels. Spas and cigarettes Naomi Campbell has been disqualified from charity work in England and Wales for five years due to mismanagement of funds at Fashion for Relief, a charity she co-founded in 2005. An inquiry by the Charity Commission revealed multiple instances of misconduct, with only 8.5% of the charity's expenditures going to charitable grants between April 2016 and July 2022. Campbell's fellow trustees, Bianca Helmich and Veronica Cho, received bans of nine and four years, respectively. The commission highlighted a specific instance where €14,800 was spent on a flight for a fundraising event. 3. Hailey Bieber reacts to sighting of Justin Bieber doppelganger A French TikToker named Theo Sauce shared a video of a passenger on a commuter train who closely resembles Justin Bieber. Prompting a reaction from Hailey Bieber, who commented, I'm scared. The video features the lookalike, identified as Dylan Desclos, who has a TikTok account dedicated to impersonating the singer. The clip plays Bieber's song, Baby, and highlights the lookalike's similar features, including a mustache, tattoos, and sunglasses. Hailey's comment clarifies that the real Justin Bieber is not on the train in France. 4. Sister wives, Christine Brown and Robin Brown have awkward reunion after years of distance. Christine Brown and Robin Brown reunited during a significant family event, the birth of Christine's daughter McKelty Padron's twin sons. McKelty, who has been a unifying figure in the estranged Brown family, wanted both Christine and Robin present for the birth. She emphasized the importance of sharing this special moment with her mothers. Despite this, Christine had some reservations about being near Robin, reflecting their complicated past. 5. Logan Paul and model Nina Agdahl welcome first baby Logan Paul and Nina Agdahl announced the birth of their first child, a baby girl named Esme Agdahl Paul, on September 29th. They shared photos from the hospital on Instagram, expressing their excitement. Earlier, on April 15, they revealed their pregnancy with a sonogram photo, with Logan stating, Another Paul coming this fall, and Nina expressing her eagerness to meet her new little best friend. Logan's father also celebrated the news, looking forward to being a grandfather. 6. SNL introduces its 2024 presidential election cast playing Kamala Harris. Tim Walls and more Saturday Night Live kicked off its 50th season on September 28 with a political cold open sketch ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Featuring former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Maya Rudolph reprised her role as Harris, while Jim Gaffigan made his SNL debut as her running mate. 
Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. The sketch included humorous exchanges about Big Dad Energy and featured Andy Samberg as Doug Emhoff, Harris' husband. 7. Kurt Cobain's daughter Frances Bean Cobain welcomes first baby with Tony Hawk's son Riley Hawk Frances Bean Cobain, daughter of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love, has welcomed her first child. A son named Ronan Walker Cobain Hawk with her husband Riley Hawk. Frances announced the birth on Instagram, expressing her love for her newborn. Riley is the son of skateboarding legend Tony Hawk, who is now a first-time grandfather and shared a similar announcement. Frances received congratulatory messages from various celebrities, including her godfather Michael Stipe and friends of her parents. 8. What Nikki Garcia's life looks like after filing for divorce from Artem Chigvintsev Nikki Garcia. Known for her wrestling career alongside her sister Brie as the Bella Twins, has recently faced personal challenges. After celebrating her second wedding anniversary with husband Artem Chigvintsev on August 26, he was arrested on suspicion of domestic violence in Napa, California. However, the case was dropped on September 24 due to insufficient evidence. Despite this, Nikki filed for divorce on September 11, citing irreconcilable differences. 9. Kaylin Lowry shares why she just developed a strategy for dealing with internet trolls Kaylin Lowry, a former teen mom star, has learned to ignore online negativity and embrace a more carefree attitude. Despite previously being affected by trolls and comments about her fame, she has decided to log off from social media and not let it bother her anymore. At 32, she recognizes that everyone has flaws and struggles, and she chooses to humanize herself and others. Stating that if people don't want to see her as human, she doesn't want to engage with them. 10. Jesse Smollett makes rare comments on 2019 hate crime hoax that landed him in jail Jesse Smollett is reflecting on the difficult period following his report of a hate crime, which authorities later determined was fabricated. In 2021, he was found guilty of five counts of disorderly conduct for falsely claiming he was attacked in January 2019. Despite maintaining his innocence, he was sentenced to 150 days in jail in 2022 but was released after six days due to an appeal. Smollett had turned himself in after the alleged incident. With accusations that he paid two brothers to stage the attack, he described his arrest as a dark day that tested his strength and mental resilience. Thank <laughs> you.